Long ago, the Kayapo were always friends with the animals. We knew their language. Today, things are different. The old ones who still knew how to talk to the animals are almost all dead. And now, men and the animals don't understand each other like before. I really don't know why, but since that day, the wasps have become our greatest enemies. According to the ancients, you are not born Kayapo, you become it. In the whole of the Amazonian forest, the Kayapo Indians are the most feared warriors. Each successive victory makes them even more powerful. As you triumph over an enemy, you steal his strength. You think we can climb up and attack that nest? Where do we put the stick? We can put it there. Put it in the hole. I don't want to be the first one to go. The Kayapo feel the wasp is the most powerful animal in the forest. Contrary to other, often timid animals, wasps will charge at the least provocation. Organized socially, the wasps have earned man's admiration for their courage and tenacity. Legend has it that in order to imitate them, the Indians have formed themselves into a cohesive group, built their villages after the model of the nests, and poisoned their arrows so they would resemble the stinger of an insect. Attacking their nest has become one of the most important rituals in Kayapo society. To prove their courage and become stronger, they must steal the power of the wasps. Having fun imitating the actions of the adults with small nests, from an early age the children taste the insect's venom, the elixir of the forest. Were there any wasps? Yes. No. We wanted to attack them, but they attacked us first. And how big was the nest? Small. And did they sting you? Yes, they stung me there, 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 and there. You still have many things to learn. I was like you when I first started attacking these little nests. And as I grew, I attacked larger and larger nests. That is the way it happens. When we attack the wasps, it is to steal their power. And it is because of this power that we have always been able to defeat our enemies. This is our tradition, and it is the oldest one. The village of Pukanu is situated on the Iriri River, a tributary of the Amazon in the state of Para in northern Brazil. The Kayapos, once nomads, are now a sedentary people. They have built their circular villages on the banks of rivers. The name they give themselves is Megengukre, the people at the edge of the water. Compared to the days of their warlike past, tribal battles have dissipated little by little, and with them the rituals designed to make the men stronger. In the village, several years have passed since the last attack on the wasps. A new menace threatens the people of the forest. The National Electricity Agency has announced that two consortiums will participate in the bidding for the contract for the construction of a Belo Monte hydroelectric power station in the state of Para, which is set for next Tuesday. They speak of the problem of captured water. The power station will produce 11,000 megawatts and put 500 square kilometers of land underwater. We don't want them to drown our forest and kill our fish. How will the future generation survive? This long proposed project has always created 
debate. In 2008, during a public meeting in Altamira, Indians opposed to the project attacked an engineer from Electrobras. I encourage them to fight against the construction of this dam. These rivers and these trees are vital to us. If I still had all my strength, I would fight them myself. This river, which contains enormous biodiversity and a tremendous variety of species of fish, risks running dry. This is why we don't want this dam to come. We will never agree to accept this project. Yeah, the project is imminent, and for old Ayol, it will be the occasion to remind the young of their duties and to perpetuate their traditions. We've heard about this project for a long time without doing anything. There are many Indian villages along this river. We should help our brothers. They need us. They want to build a dam on our river. We have to fight against this. That is what our ancestors would want. I ask you, the young people, what you are prepared to do. I ask you the question, but you do not answer it. Today it is your turn, young Kayapo, to prepare to become warriors and fight against this dam. You must prepare yourselves according to tradition and go attack the wasp nest. This is what our warriors have always done before leaving for battle. The elders have exhorted the young to attack the wasp's nest. This ceremony consists of using their bare hands to destroy the enormous nest of the Amyu, the most aggressive wasps in the forest. For Baka, the moment has come to prove his courage. <laughs> I like living in this forest. In the city, you have to pay for everything. But once you have no money, what then? Who will help me? Here in the forest, we can hunt and fish in order to feed our families. I'm 20 years old. And today, I want to follow our traditions, those of my ancestors. When I was a child, I watched the adults attack the wasps, and I remember being very afraid. I remember women carrying their husbands in their arms after the attack, and everybody was crying. Beptoy is also 20. He is attacking the nest to honor his ancestors, for his village and his wife, but above all for his daughter. As soon as the old ones began talking about the attack, right away I wanted to be there. As a child, I really loved to hear the old ones tell their stories about how they'd fought to protect their village. The village where I was born is far away from here. My father cared for me and brought me up. 
My father still lives there. My mother died when I was just a boy. I think about her all the time because I saw her die with my own eyes. My daughter was born in this village and she'll grow up here. My wife and I, whenever we look at each other, we are happy. For Beptoy and Baka, this first attack on a nest is a chance to show their courage and their willingness to be a warrior. Those who nourish their bodies with the venom of wasps have no fear of that of men. I think that the young people of today don't want to attack the Amu nest. And they ask why they should have to do it. When I was young, we were the ones who asked the adults to prepare an attack for us. We must prepare them, and someone should guide them on this attack. Do you wish to be the one? I have already attacked many nests. I'm getting old, but we must set an example for the young. It's been a while now that I've wanted to go on my last attack. But for the last few times, I haven't dared to go. I need to force myself to do it. It is time that the young Kayapo show us what they are capable of. I agree to be the one who guides them. But I want it to be clear that this is my last attack. Make sure everyone knows that. I think I hear the sound of wasps. No, I think it is the ants who make that noise. So you think it is the ants who have made their nest like this? When you touch them, they make the same noise as the wasps. Not long ago, I spotted a nest here while I was out hunting. I remember telling myself it was enormous. It was this trunk here? Yes, there. Where? I only see ants here. Look, there's a piece of the nest still here. It would have been perfect if the birds had not already attacked it. We could have easily built the ladder right here. We can only see a little piece of the nest. Given its size, the young ones would have suffered a lot. The birds are like men. They know who wants to attack them and often they hurry in order to be the ones who attack first. Somebody should have been here to watch them do it. Let's go. It's too late for this one. The men hunt and fish, while the women work the land. Though the women may not publicly intervene in the decisions taken by the men, they always actively participate in their battles. In the time of the great razias, tribal wars, the Kayapo women decorated themselves by striking their heads and bodies with machetes in order to suffer with their men who were leaving for battle. Some reproduced these gestures when the men attacked the nest. But it is by organizing the ceremony of the women and by dancing all night long that they best help the men to prepare for the most dangerous challenges. It's only we Indians who will fight against this dam. This is why we want to organize the ceremony of the women. 
We also want to participate in the protection of our forest. For our children, but also for our husbands. They need us. When we dance, I will stamp my feet very hard thinking about this dam. The men attack the wasp's nest to become strong, and we dance to make them even stronger so they can stop the whites from shutting down our river. Our men are ready to fight, and we women are too. We will fight if the need arises. Beptoy is anxious to speak to his father, to remind him not to forget to fast the night before the attack on the nest. But that's not all. I'm listening. I'm trying to get my father, who is in Kabeka. If only my father could be here when I attack the nest. He would see me suffer. But once the pain has passed, and I've stopped crying, I know he'd be proud of me. Because he would see that I have become a brave man. I want to become just as strong as my father always was. I'm sure that he will be sad not to be there at my side. When we organize an attack, we can ask the wasps to either punish the young ones or to make them stronger. By rubbing a mixture of ants and bees on the tree, we can send them off, like a message. If I put too many warrior ants in, it will be dangerous for the young ones. But for this attack, I don't want to punish them. I want to make them stronger. On the other hand, if I put too many bees in, the wasps won't attack enough. They'll just make more noise. Look at the wasp's stinger. This is why they're so dangerous. They're like arrows at the end of their bodies. The wasps and the Indians are almost the same. When we go off into battle, we all fight together. It is the same with the wasps. When they go into a battle, they go as a group. This nest is a small nest, but their stingers are still very pointy. If you don't protect yourself and they sting you on the nose, 
you will fall from the ladder. You must be very careful. The most important thing is to protect the nose. It's the liquid that they inject with their stingers that hurts so much. But it is this liquid that contains their power. By injecting their venom into your body, the wasps make you stronger. I'd like to tell Baka to be careful when he attacks the nest. To not rush when he comes back down the ladder. I was upset when I learned that Baka would attack the wasp's nest. to begin preparations for their ceremony. The wasp nest symbolizes the unity of the group. By accompanying the men in this challenge, the women reaffirm the unity within the tribe. We paint our bodies according to tradition. We aren't doing this just for the ceremony. It's our culture. We paint the bodies of our children to make them grow faster. And when they have grown up, we paint other figures on them. Right now, I am painting the pattern of the turtle Wearing these paintings, our children will always be beautiful. Each individual has a different design according to their status, sex, and age. The body paintings are a language. The great ceremonies are called mereremeks, the people who display their beauty. The most beautiful displays are a message that men listen to with their eyes. I am very happy to see that the women are organizing this ceremony. We warriors, when our women are dancing, we don't say anything. We are happy just to watch them. This is the way they make us stronger. While they dance, we are only thinking of two things, war and a peaceful future. Our grandmothers did the same things. They are the ones who taught us all this. Only the women who manage to dance all night will become stronger.
All night long, the women will dance around the house of the men to join their strength with that of the warriors and to fortify their courage. By stamping the ground with their feet, they prove their determination to the men. One can play with snakes and with nests of tiny wasps, but the amu's nest, which the children have just found, is for adults only. When we attack the wasps, we must absolutely wear the headdress. If he were here, your father would have given you his. I'm sort of like a grandfather to you now, so I will give it to you. Take good care of it. It can be used for different ceremonies. It's important that you wear it during the attack. Right. It's time to get organized. We need to cut some wood. Once the nest has been found, they must hurry to build the ladder that will give access to it. Worried parents might come and destroy it before the attack could take place. You see this trunk? You can attach it there. I know this doesn't seem to be simple. The ants are attacking me. Be careful. Don't touch the nest or they will attack too. Don't touch them. Fix that branch a bit higher. Be careful, be careful. Mm. 
Now that we have found the nest, we have to choose those that will attack it. My nephews, it's almost time for your turn to attack. You need to know the way in which this has always been done. The young will attack two by two. This ritual is also a chance to reconcile the members of a group. already attacking big nests when your fathers were only children. forest, the old ones begin the last preparations. The potion I am spreading on will go right up to the nest. The bees will smell it and they will become stronger. There are other types of potions. There are potions that will make them leave the nest. Only when night has fallen and the wasps have all moved inside the nest can the old ones finally measure it. Look at the size of that nest. I thought it was smaller. I am not certain they'll all be able to attack it. They'll have to be very brave. Meanwhile, in the village, the young begin a long, sleepless night. By picking up the stick brought back by the old ones, the young agree to accept the challenge they have made. My nephews, this stick is the size of the nest. It is perfect. It's not so big. I'm ready to attack it. Dance, young warriors. Dance until morning. The fatigue will make it easier to endure tomorrow's pain.
First to climb up to the nest, avoid getting stung. The monster is still sleeping. But after the first blow is given, an army pours out to attack. The second group is the most exposed. The colony is under threat and the overexcited wasps respond with the power that the men would absorb. This is the power that will make them men and it's up to Baca and Beptoy to go and steal it from them. Exhausted, Baca gives in to the pain.
середине. Spirit of the forest, spirit of the river, hear the pain of those who have suffered in order to protect you and keep your power intact. Spirit of the ancestors, see the Kayapo people faithful to your bravery and your courage. Hear the suffering of the men who cry. <laughs> Normally, by the end of the day, they should feel better. No medicine. They must endure the pain. To each his pain, to each his remedy. Caresses and soothing plants ease Beptoy's pain. Sleep is what helps Baka. For Pionti, the old leader, toothpaste has always given the best relief for his stings. For a long time, I have wanted to go on my last attack. And now it's done. It's over. I was very nervous when I got to the nest. I hit it so hard that I practically exploded it all on my own. But then, I saw that the young ones in the line were able to climb up and attack it too. I was very happy. I think this was my last attack. It's up to my son to replace me now. That was my last attack. I'm finished with the wasps. I was very proud as I watched the young ones attack the nest of Amu. I thought about our ancestors and I was happy. I was proud, but at the same time I couldn't help feeling a little sad to see them suffer. Because I knew that once the pain had passed, they would be different. They would be stronger. That all the laziness would leave their bodies, and they would think only about one thing, fighting the battle. Kaima, Lutan, I 
As soon as I climbed the ladder, I felt a bit different already. But mainly, I tried not to fall off. I felt the pain coming into my arms, my feet, and then my head. I got a strange taste in my mouth. It was the taste of pain that the old ones had told me about. Nothing that's ever happened to me was anything like the attack on the wasps' nests. I never felt that kind of pain before. All of our people live along this river. If the old ones decide that we must go and fight in this war, now I will be able to participate as well. When I attacked, at first I felt the wasps stinging me, but after a while I didn't feel anything anymore. When I got to the bottom of the ladder, the women whipped me with their leaves and the pain began to increase. But the worst was when I arrived at the house. I couldn't even feel my arms or my legs. It seemed like my head was going to explode. I had a strange taste in my mouth and in my nose. There was no more air in my lungs. The pain was horrible. But in spite of the pain, I don't regret it. I'm ready to go again. It's true that I feel stronger now. I feel ready to fight if I have to. Ready to fight if they have to, to protect their way of life. Also ready to transfer to the next generation the inheritance of their ancestors. But above all, determined to make sure their precious forest the place where the roots of their identity as a people are planted remains intact. Mm -hmm.